Leading contenders on Kamala Harris VP shortlist are reportedly being interviewed this weekend in D.C. One of the front runners is Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, but he's facing opposition from both anti-Israel and anti-school choice groups for his stance on the war against Hamas and support for education vouchers. So here to help us take a look at his record is Pennsylvania Congressman Dan Muser. Congressman, thanks for being with us this morning. Shapiro's being described as a moderate, and those would be two issues where he does not align with the far left. It, you know, regardless of his own views, should he join the ticket with Kamala Harris, her views divide, define the ticket. But is it accurate to describe uh, Shapiro as a moderate? Hi, Will. Good morning. Yeah, he definitely tries to present himself that way. His record and his history is actually quite liberal. You know, on the on the Israeli issue, yes, he is pro-Israel and he's anti-Hamas. That happens to be right now a very controversial issue for the Democrat Party, which is, you know, which is um, a, a little uh, stunning in itself, right? And um, on the school choice issue, uh, he has stated that he'd be for the school vouchers, but he flip-flopped on that, and he completely took the teachers' union side over the student side. You know, teachers' union have a much bigger uh, political action committee and PAC and fundraising than the students, unfortunately, in Pennsylvania. Uh, so he, he had to lean that way. Look, he is now going to be owning, and we do believe he's going to be the, uh, the pick, uh, he is going to be owning the most radical and dangerously liberal agenda mm -hmm. uh, of any presidential candidate by far, right? I mean, he's going to have to own these open borders. He's going to have to own banning fracking in an energy state. He's going to own DEI, uh, you know, running uh, the military. You know, our, our DEI comes before our military readiness. And that's not me talking. That is uh, Kamala Harris's uh, positions. So... It's clear that Pennsylvania has become the most important state heading into this election. And people have talked about it used to be Florida. Now it is Pennsylvania. That's reflected in the ad spending on both parties in your state. And even within yeah. the state, there are certain areas in certain counties that, that, that swing and define the way that Pennsylvania goes. Is it too simplistic to say, despite all these issues we're talking about, those counties, those districts in Pennsylvania, it will still come back to the economy? What will define those districts in Pennsylvania that define Pennsylvania? Yeah, uh, great, great question. I mean, definitely the economy, gasoline and groceries, like, like all over the, the country. But the border is a real serious issue. We've had over 4,000 fentanyl deaths. Uh, we get nothing but misspeak uh, from the administration that the border's closed. I mean, come on, how many times has Kamala Harris just in the last year told us that, that the border was secure? But also crime. Crime's a real problem, and uh, that's more on a local level, but there's no leadership being provided. Let's face it, Kamala Harris bailed out violent criminals uh, during the, uh, the, the riots a couple of years back in Philadelphia. So it's definitely the economy, but it's those other issues of border, uh, you know, their energy policy, we just say, is gas backwards, right? They want to—she wants to ban fracking. I mean, that's hundreds of thousands of jobs in Pennsylvania. And it's it's American national security. Mm. I mean, literally choosing Venezuela and and Saudi Arabia over over my district, over, over Pennsylvania. So there are some real issues they're going to have a real tough time overcoming. And on, and on the flip side, President Trump is, is absolutely right on these issues. He's about strength. He's about growth. He's about— economic prosperity. He's about national security. He's about taking the leadership on public safety. Those are those are just completely in, inverted and reverse of the Democrat platform. Well, and, and Josh Shapiro is going to own those. Well, it's been brought up here this morning. It seems like that fracking issue, which is, of course, tied to the economy through energy and jobs in Pennsylvania, could be the one that defines the way Pennsylvania goes. If indeed it is the economy, as I'm sure it will be, the number one voting issue in every state, including Pennsylvania. Congressman Dan Muser, thanks so much for being with us this morning. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.